All right, how's everybody doing? I know it's been a few weeks, about three weeks or so, since I last did a video. Uh, since then, I've been up to Duluth, Minnesota for AMSOL's 45th anniversary convention, 45 years of producing the best synthetic lubricants in the industry. And uh, after that, once I got home, had a, another week trip, go see some relatives. So now that I'm back home, finally getting my thoughts together and wanted to do another video for you all. Uh, at the convention, though, I introduced a new product uh, coming out. Uh, first in the industry. You've probably seen videos already that I've posted, Amsol's posted, that sort online, but uh, I figured I'd show you here in person. It's our Easy Packs, Gear Lube Easy Packs. Uh, industry standard through the years has been a plastic bottle. Uh, as you know, if you've ever changed uh, gear lube in your rear end or your transfer case or anything else that takes gear lube, uh, some of those areas get pretty tight quarters. Uh, hard to get into. So with the Easy Pack, they came out just like a you know flexible bag. If you can get your hand up into that area, all you need is about two, three inches or so to get the uh, top of the bag in here in your hand. You've got it made. Where a rigid bottle, you you need you know a lot more space to get that rigid bottle in, or if you've got a pump, you know to pump uh, pump the fluid in. Same type of deal with all, you know, bottles. Take top off, clip the end, and start just squeeze the bot, squeeze the uh, bag here. Quick, easy, clean. You know, no, uh, you know, leakage, no dripping, no waste. As you squeeze the bot, the bag down, you'll get more out of it. You know, of course, with a rigid bottle, you're going to end up leaving about half inch, three quarters of an inch, whatever left in that bottle that you can't, the either the the pup, excuse me. They either the pump get, can't get out. I don't know why I can't say that right now. Or, you know, with a rigid bottle, if you're trying to tip it up and pour it out via gravity, sometimes you can't get that bottle all the way up to dump everything out. With this, you know, as you squeeze it up, you know, of course, compress that bag. Come in from the top. If you need to, squeeze, gravity feed it down in, but, you know, it's, it's not rigid like a bottle. So, heck of a lot easier. A lot cleaner. You don't have a pump you got to store. You don't have a pump you have to buy. Uh, you don't have a pump you have to clean up. One bag, empty it out, get most if not all the fluid out instead of, you know, without leaving anything in there. Toss the bag when you're done. You're all done. Good to go. So, like I said, industry first. Uh, working on patent for it, in fact. Uh, notice the seat stands up, you know, Easy to keep on the shelf. I'm assuming they did this so you could hang it off a hook if you liked, whatever. But uh, they tested them, dropped hammers on them, dropped screwdrivers on them, dropped them off the toolbox, stood on them with pallets, uh, able to withstand quite a bit of abuse. So no need to worry about a thin, bad bag uh, puncturing. They did a lot of R&D on these guys. Brilliant idea. Everywhere I've gone, I've stopped by a few uh, automotive shops and repair shops and that sort with this to show them. Everybody is just amazed at, you know, why hasn't anybody done this sooner, obviously. It's just one of those things, I suppose, you get in a rut. Industry standard is a round bottle. Ours, I've, you know, with everything else you've seen with ours is a square bottle just to make us different, of course. But everybody has always used a round plastic bottle. This speaks for itself right here for getting into uh, tight corners, whatever, you know, flexible, puncture, you know, very durable, that sort. Uh, part numbers. Quartz, our quartz have always been the same. Or, you know, well, quartz bottles have always been designated as QT. These packs are going to be designated PK. So uh, right now we've got 7590 and 75140 in the packs. Uh, I'm sure 75110 will be coming out shortly once they see how well these things are doing. It's just no-brainer. I'm going to start stocking this for my own use and anybody else local that needs stuff. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm not stocking bottles anymore unless somebody really wants a bottle. But this is just, yeah, brilliant. Um, price is going to stay the same even with all the R&D and research that went into producing these. 
price is the same as the quart bottles. So there's a uh, no price increase on that. Um, yeah, hopefully here in about the next week or so, I'm going to do the front end on my truck. I have a four-wheel drive truck, so I need to do the front end. It takes two quarts. I'll uh, hopefully get a video out of me using the bottle myself so you can see how well it works from personal use. I don't, you know, as you will find out and probably know already, if I don't, I use everything I, I try to use everything that, uh, we produce and of course for personal use and otherwise um, I've used almost all the the uh, diesel oils in my truck except for maybe one that I haven't used yet but of course just so I can know how everything performs um, of course gear lube no different uh, packs that sort so everything that comes out new I like to use just so I can see how it works so I can tell you from personal experience no rumors no nothing like that so anyway I'll be using this pack here in about another week or so changing the gear loop my front end so you can see how how it works when I use it myself uh, any questions I'll put some links in the bottom always go I got 360 plus oil.com for the web my Facebook page look me up 360 plus synthetics I'll put some links in the bottom to the packs to my uh, web page and that sort uh, referral code if you go straight to Amsoil I'll give Amsoil call direct my referral number 138-2872 Use that and you'll get assigned to me as a customer of mine. I can always help you out directly then with any questions, any orders, or just uh, just general advice or questions and you know that sort. Whether you buy or not, I don't care. I'll help you out with personal experience and not uh, you know BS you or anything like that. I because I don't like that myself. Anyway, we'll catch you later. Have a good one.